This is MassX with a brand new Keep or Delete video and we're going to take a look at Tokyo Ghoul Break the Chains. Now this is not released globally at the time. I had to get this off of TapTap. Tap. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in trying it out. So basically EU, the US, currently not available and it's mostly just in Eastern countries, Japan, I believe, as well as a host of others. But again, it is playable and you'll have to be free to play only unless you have an account um, in those jurisdictions. But if not, no big deal at all. So let's go ahead and really break into the game. I wanted to try this out. I am a Tokyo Ghoul fan, especially of the manga. It was not huge on the anime. It had some good moments, but I felt like it really wasn't done well enough. So hopefully someday they will do that. So I'm going to go in and show you guys a battle real quickly. There's lots of cutscenes, lots of nice added benefits to what they've done. They keep the story going well. We'll go ahead and skip through this so we can get to the actual gameplay. It is turn-based. As you can see, you can have your main lineup as well as a backup. Go ahead and hit start. And, you know, it, it is, you know, one of those card-based slide You'll see in a second how it works. You've seen it before millions of times in other games. But basically, as you can see, I've got a boss back there. I've got my four main characters on the front line. And basically, you have four slots. You can combine like cards. So actually, first, let's go ahead and see. So this boss is weak to this. So I'm going to want to combine that up going to go ahead and add that as an attack go ahead and add that one as an attack and we'll go ahead and finish off with combining another set of cards we'll go ahead and do this one up and there we go and they go in they go ahead and attack so you actually are not playing the actual attacks yourself after you move those cards once you get past level 20 there is a auto mode to it but i haven't reached level 20 yet at this time so your opponent's going to get their turn and then flip sides and boom, we're back here now. So we can go ahead and load that up. You also are building energy to get ultimates during this whole time. And we'll go ahead and combine that and we'll go ahead and get three attacks. But the graphics are nice. I mean, I enjoy them. Um, this type of gameplay does not turn me off, so I have no issue with it. I know some people do not like it. This is going to probably be kind of similar to the Jujutsu Kaisen game coming, which I'm very excited about. Now, again, I've got 100% here, so I can go ahead and use that. Go ahead and do a week, and then we'll go ahead and hopefully combine up two cards there. There we go, and we'll go ahead and finish off with that one. And I'll let the whole playthrough on this go through. So, yeah, as you can see, you know, they did a decent job with the graphics. You know, not mind-blowing, but there we go. Done and finished with that. That's pretty much how the gameplay is across the board in all aspects of the game. One of the things that really turns me off with this game is the story mode. When you watch cutscenes for the first time, it actually charges you energy, which I cannot figure out why they would do that. But as you can see on that front screen, you've got quests to do. Of course, there's lots of stuff to buy. But again, if you're using through tap tap and you're out of the jurisdiction, it's not going to be an option for you. No big deal at all. They seem to be giving lots of stuff. They've already had many bug fixes in the first 24 hours. So clearly the developer is interested in making sure this game is running well. Then you've also got a combat mode where you have assignments. Some are where you can send out groups and some are actual battles. So for instance, this is one where I had to send the group out. It's done. Get it all done and finished and then as you can see now the next one for intel is a battle so you could go in and do that battle it's going to be very similar to what you've already seen before you know just hit auto because it will put in whoever's required for you and you're off to the races here we'll go ahead and do one more battle to go through and then we'll go look at the other areas and we'll do some polls too i haven't done any polls outside of the one it made me during the tutorial so i do have some stuff to do some polling here so let's go ahead and see 
who's weak to there we go that's a good one right there so we'll go ahead and load him up let's see if yep there we go some more weak there we'll go ahead and add that up add that there and let it go not sure if my team's gonna be strong enough this looks like a pretty formidable team i've been saving resources till after i do the polls so we may get our butts whooped on this one but who knows but i just wanted to see the gameplay different types of characters that you're playing against so you can get a good gauge for it and you can stun characters using um weak on characters certain characters can also um after they get weakened be stunned so i had a backup come in so that's okay so let's go ahead and we're going to need some healing so let's go ahead and put that in there we're going to go ahead and we can add that and let's go ahead and use her too and hopefully we can get our team built up a bit but yeah i mean it, if you're a tokyo ghoul fan the game's not bad at all um they've had some okay games through the years but nothing that's really blown me away i've, I've played the other two prior to this and you know they 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 are what they are and they just never blew me away and this one's not going to blow you away either but if you're a fan of the IP, it's not bad, though, so far. I, I can't say um, I have any issues with it at this time. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. If you just want to have some fun with this IP, I do recommend giving it a try. Because it, it is well built. And as I said, the developers seem to be interested in getting this game moving. They haven't said anything about a global release for this. So I guess it's pretty much going to probably matter on how well it does in the jurisdictions it's currently going to be released in. And if it seems like there's enough interest, we may see this come get ported over globally. But yeah, nice clean game. I think they did a pretty good job on it. Now let's go look at and take a look at some of those other areas. So besides the area I showed you in assignments where you can do dispatch and battles for intel, you've also got, which I just opened up a material instance. As you can see, this is going to be, you know, getting gold, experience, etc. So pretty self-explanatory. And then, of course, promotion stones and promotion crystals that help promoting your characters when you're building them. In the training area, it's basically just giving you tutorials where you can get currency and other items by going through them, as well as we have research. And again, this has all different areas, salvage, ultimate skill. Some are open, some have not processed. But again, clearly a lot of areas of the game to be able to keep you busy. And of course, with a brand new launch, there is a lot going on. Lots of daily rewards, lots of things to receive. So if you are interested in playing the game, this is definitely the time to jump in to give it a try. So let's go ahead and do some recruits here. You've got a limited recruit. You also have your regular recruit, strength, speed, and skill, which I thought was kind of interesting to have break up areas by certain aspects of characters so if you're in need of more speed characters you have that option i thought that was a, a nice little thing that they put out there so that's it for those polls let's go ahead and give some polls here on the limited recruit so let's go ahead and give it a shot see if we can get lucky at all we're gonna let this play out because i don't like to skip it really it doesn't usually when you hit on, you know, polls such as this, you usually it will at least show you in detail the character you got and not go right to the end. Got some more SRs, so that's gonna really help out my team a lot. So since we know there are SRs, let's go ahead and pull again, see if we can get lucky and get a UR. We'll know right away here and so we'll know whether to skip or not nope more srs okay let's try again use this currency up i don't mind i need to get some good teams because i'm playing i'm playing this game for a little while i do like the ip a lot let's see if i get oh there we go all right let's see who we got hopefully we got one of the two limited characters so let's see okay there we go 
Oh, wow, we did not get one of the <laughs> limited characters, interesting enough. All right, we'll skip through the rest of that. But we did get something, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and see if we can get lucky anymore. But yeah, so I would say, you know, this is definitely a game worth playing if you don't mind this style of gameplay at all. And you like the IP, I gotta say. I, I'm, I'm having fun with it. Funner than I did with then Shield Hero Rise, I'll say you that. Ah, there we go. And this will be when we stop. Let's see if we got lucky enough with one of the limited characters. Nice, we did. All right, okay, I will take that. Cool, very cool. So let's go ahead and return. Now this game does use dupes, just so you know. So I did get a duplicate of Hanami. So you do have an empower active skills area, which can use those. And basically you're gonna star up your character. You're basically getting four or five and 4% growth on those active skills. But that's kind of, my, kind of my quick overview of this game. I would highly recommend it if you're a fan. Um, you have lots of ways to build up your characters. If you go into training, you can boost them. You can star up them. You have cells that you can attach to them. So yeah, I mean, there's lots of ways to customize your characters. So that's good. And clearly the rates don't seem to be that bad. Because yeah, I mean, after the polling we did, I've got now three SSRs and one that I was able to star up so I cannot complain about that and quite honestly the SRs so far that I've been using have been pretty darn good so I can't complain about those so let me know if you're interested in this game if you're already looking out for it what your thoughts are if you're even going to play it for me I think it's a winner at least not a great game but a solid game so far out of the gate and so far, I've had fun with it. So with that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a great day.